We're going to take a look at creating some tool paths for the back soft jaw and then we'll we'll copy that to the front soft jaw as well. So as you noticed from our last video, I actually went through and I adjusted the vise so it's the right width. The way I have this set up here is I actually have a dimension set up that allows me to control that that width and that thickness. So by changing the dimension, the vise jaw moved up. So we have different configurations here, as you can see. We have a front, we have a back, and then we have our original slave cylinder bracket that we're going to machine. So as I pop over to SolidWorks Cam on our back one, you can see that we can also do configurations here as well. So I've created a configuration just to do machining on the back soft jaw. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to select the part I want to machine. So we're going to machine that jaw. For stock, because this is an actual regular soft jaw that was purchased, we're just going to leave the stock the way it is. So we'll select OK to that. And then for my coordinate system or my location, I'm actually going to put it in this corner here because this is where all of my parts are machined from or referenced to on my vise. This is a known distance that I have here. Likewise, I could also set it to this top corner here if I wanted to, and it would move to that location as well. So for my process planning setup sheet, I'm actually gonna go to my visual aids and I have my work offset. And you can see that in my work offset, we have some mates that actually locate this where it's gonna be. We have a work offset location, so we'll delete that. So what we'll do is we'll go to this visual aid here. We went through and removed a couple mates so that way we can move this to this location. So we'll go to here. We'll move that up to that location. And now we have a visual aid that's actually referencing where we want to go. Keep in mind also through the visual aids by using SolidWorks assemblies, we actually have different work coordinates offset. So if I wanted to use a 55, a 59, whatever, I could change this. And as I change it and hit OK, the numbers automatically update. So this is more of my process planning workflow. Uh, this is not needed to use SolidWorks Cam in any way, shape, or form. But this allows me to keep everything a little more consistent in my mind as I work through it. So we have our coordinate system set up to where we're going to use this corner of our fixed jaw. And then from here, we're just going to create a simple tool path. Now, we could run feature recognition and have it find everything for us, but just to, in a part this simple, I'm just going to go through and quickly create a setup on my part. And then I'm just going to create a two and a half axis feature because I just want to machine this. So I'll just pick a corner slot, end condition, we'll go to here. You can see I have it open and closed. We'll just do a for this because we're making soft jaws. I'm just gonna go through and we'll just do a rough with a zero offset. Again, because these are soft jaws, we'll just cancel that. So we'll generate the operation plan. Now, one thing I do have, see, notice how it grabbed a three quarter inch end mill here. Uh, one thing I do wanna explain for my machine and my setup, so we'll remove this, is I'm gonna go to my machine and I'm going to use a Kenametal aluminum tool crib. These are tools that I have specifically for aluminum in my shop. I could have more, I could have less, but this is what I use to machine my components. And I'm going to tell it, based on these tools, I want you to only use the tools that show up in the tool crib. So then it assigns the tools that are perfect, that are already set, and they're already in specific pockets in my machine. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, we'll come down here, we'll select my post for my machine. And now when we go ahead and we take a look at this, go to this tab, and we'll generate the operation plan. Now it's grabbing a 3 8 end mill for my part. And this is actually the one I have set up that's a kind of metal tool. So we'll generate toolpath. And we now have some offset roughing that will come in and machine this part. I'll make a quick adjustment here. Because we're only gonna rough it, I'm gonna set this to zero. Um, first cut amount. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, we'll do cleanup pass, stay at depth. Feeds and speeds, I'm gonna set this to the tool because I'm actually using specific numbers for my tool as far as lead in, lead out. And those are based off of the Kenametal recommended settings. 
And from here, just for visual, I'm gonna go to fixtures and I wanna see where these parts are. So let's simulate this. And we'll just use our offset roughing to machine this. Everything looks pretty good. And I did add a notch here, so that way when I have a square corner that comes in, I have a relief in this side. So we'll be okay with that. So we'll save our part. And now we're going to move to the front jaw. So we'll go to this configuration. Because SolidWorks Cam automatically recognizes that I have a new configuration, it automatically link it. So for this example, we'll just do, we're going to add a new configuration. And now in SolidWorks Cam, I have a back and a front. So we'll go to the part manager, click this. We'll pick our post. Now, if I had copied, all of these settings would have came over in the copy of configuration. But just to show you the process, we'll just go through, select that, use the priority. Stock will be OK. We'll put our coordinate system back here where we were before. Now we'll just do a setup off that face so our Z direction is right. We'll do a two and a half axis feature, corner slot. We'll do rough strategy. Generate the operation plan. Generate tool path. And I'll check my settings here quick. Now, if these were standard settings I used all the time, so if I used roughing and not any finish passes, I could set these and save them and then they would become my standard. For this example, we're just using uh, specific for this need. So now we have these. We'll look at our fixtures. We'll add these again. Again, because I created a new one, it didn't remember my settings. If I had copied it, all of those settings would have came over. So we'll just take a quick look at a simulate. And those look great. So now I have two programs set to machine my soft jaws. And because I'm using a standard work offset here, once I set my XY offset, this space here will automatically be set for both parts. So I can run the two programs without changing my setup and just using the one tool here. What's nice about this is once it's stored, if I go back to this soft jaw, I can load the SolidWorks configuration. And now I see that work. And if I come back here, load the corresponding SOLIDWORKS configuration, now I have that variation. So very quickly I created these two programs to create the soft jaws.